You may be aware that last week there was a coup on the other side of the world in Burma. Here in Buffalo, 10,000 of our neighbors are Burmese. The coup has affected them as well. On the 1st of February, the Burmese military has seized power and detained our president, state councillor Do Aung San Suu Kyi, and other democratically elected leaders. We are ex-citizens of Myanmar who are committed to freedom and justice. We want to raise awareness of coup in Myanmar and ensure the war will not accept it. We want the people of Myanmar to know that we are with them. I do not accept the military coup in Myanmar. I grew up under the military rule. I suffered through the horrible things they did to all of us. We do not want our children to suffer through this again. I was born and raised under military rule. Like a flower, democracy had begun to blossom, but now the military has destroyed it. For many years, we suffer under the cruelty of the military. We do not want to suffer anymore. The military has terrorized villages. They burn down villages. They rape villages. They kill villages. We want all of these horrible things to be done with. We need help from the international community now. All friends among the world, please do not ignore this. We want your support. Please save Myanmar. My name is Yuki Numata Resnick, and as a fellow Buffalonian, you might be wondering, what is the connection between those of us here in Buffalo and the coup in Myanmar, thousands of miles away? The military there has cut off the country from the rest of the world. They have shut off phone service. They have shut off internet access. They have banned Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They have done this to prevent civilians in Myanmar from organized protest. They have also done this to prevent news from leaving the country. It is our duty to give our local Burmese friends and neighbors the platform they deserve to spread awareness here in Buffalo about the atrocities that are happening right now in Myanmar. Hi, my name is Teresa. I was born in a Thailand refugee camp. My parents had to flee there from Burma because of what was going on at that time. There was a military oppression going on and my parents had to run from the harsh conditions. There were also multiple other kids who lived there as well. They were born and raised there just like me and now they're all over the country. Because of what's going on right now, there will be more kids who, have, who will have to go broke just like me and I really don't want that happening again. <laughs>